Here's a compilation of my greatest hits from 2022. It stars the NYPD, the Nassau County PD, and cameo appearances from Late Success, Launchmont, and East Orange, New Jersey Police Departments. I can't help but think each individual in these cars took an oath to protect and defend the Constitution. Each individual in the Queens District Attorney's Office took an oath to protect and defend the Constitution. Instead, they are treating the U.S. Constitution as toilet paper. Now, why is this happening? It's because my father was murdered. He was drugged to death for money. Two years, I tried to protect him. I saw what was going on. I called. I emailed at the end begging Adult Protection Services of New York City to help. I was ignored. I spoke with Laura Woods numerous times. She's head of the Elder Abuse Division in the Queen's DA's office. I was ignored. The person drugging my father, Eileen Canfer, bragged that she was speaking to a prosecutor. I subsequently learned that Audra Bierman is that person and she lives in the same building as my father. She's a deputy district attorney in the Domestic Violence Division in the Queens DA's office. Who would be able to abuse their power and obstruct justice? That would be Audra Bierman. $150,000 in cash was stolen. How much did she receive? She did it either for money or for joy, perhaps both. My problem is I'm the only witness and I have the evidence. Their problem is I'm the only witness and I have the evidence. Why the police involved? Well, we all know that there is a symbiotic relationship between the two. After I learned about Audra Bierman, I called her office and left two voicemails, letting her know that I knew who she was. The message was innocuous as I could make it. I knew and how despicable her behavior was. At the end of October 2021, and that is when the harassment from the police increased exponentially. So a little bit of a backstory here. I have had three restraining orders filed against me. I've been accused of having guns. Adult protection services have been called twice on me. And I've been formally investigated for physically abusing my father and being mentally unstable. And this coincided when I found the drugs my father was being given by Eileen Canfer. The police were called up to my father's apartment repeatedly by the girlfriend. And I'm violent. In their words, I'm crazy. And I'm suicidal. And I leave two voicemails with a deputy district attorney accusing her of murder. Do you think I would have been contacted by someone? You think I would have heard something. I heard nothing. What I did receive was increased harassment. They call that consciousness of guilt. That's what prosecutors call it. It's a tool they use. If a person doesn't act in a manner that most people would if they were innocent, you can presume there's a reason why. That's because they're guilty. Character assassination is nothing new. You don't like a person, you call them crazy. Tell them to take more meds. It's simplistic. It's gaslighting 101. Whatever my mental state is, it doesn't deflect away from what was done. Last February, I received a call. I was able to contact the right people in the Queens DA's office to discuss my situation, and it was the Anti-Public Corruption Division. I wasn't under any illusion what was going to happen. People in the Queens DA's office does not participate in a murder unless they know they're going to be protected. So this is in February. I received a call from a detective, Richard Lewis. He said he wanted me to come in to discuss this. I asked him, should I bring my evidence? And he hesitated. Well, any doubt that it wasn't going to be legitimate was now answered. I walked in, first question out of his mouth was, the reason you're here is that Audra Bierman feels threatened. So I leave a message with her, end of October, and now it's February of the next year, and you're telling me this now, and you didn't contact me prior to this? What's the adage, not the sharpest tool in the, in the shed? Well, this guy's not even in the fucking shed. He's in the back rusting away. And so is his partner, Thomas Cobb. I mean, the conversation was so moronic. If I had circuit breakers in my head, they all would have popped. Audra Bierman is threatened. She's threatened with prison. That's what she's threatened with. I'm not enjoying this, but you find yourself in situations. It's not a question of how you feel about it. A question of what are you going to do about it. So I'm doing the best I can. And if it works out for me, these people will be on the front page of the New York Times. I assure you that. There are other areas of harassment I'm dealing with, but I'm going to just focus on the police for now.